All right. Let's see what we got here. Weekly? Weekly dungeon. Okay. <laughs> Waveframes only? Okay. Hunter. Strand. Strand Hunter. All right, let's get it. For this particular challenge, I'm gonna walk you through the loadout and weapons that I used. To maximize as much damage as possible, I wanted to run the Star Eater scales where picking up orbs of power to overcharge you super granted a lot of damage. Looking at our Strand Hunter, I used Grapple Melee just for ease of use and mobility. Widow Silk where you have an additional grenade charge. Whirling Maelstrom where destroying a tangle will weave a violent writhing mass of Strand Fibers. Looking at our Fragments, I chose to run Threat of Ascent where activating your grenade ability reloads your equipped weapon and grants bonus airborne effectiveness and handling for a short duration. Threat of Binding where super final blows emit a suspending burst from the target. This also gives me plus 10 resilience. Threat of Rebirth, strand weapon final blows have a chance to create threadlings. And then Threat of Isolation where landing rapid precision hits emits a severing burst from the target. As for the weapons, I wanted to run the newly acquired Iron Banner weapon, Tusk of the Boar that gives me a Strand, Envious, Assassin, and Chain Reaction. On top of that is the fan favorite for Barons from the Vow Disciple Raid. This thing has Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction and also packs a huge punch. And then on top of that, the newly acquired Hullabaloo from the Guardian Games with Envious Assassin and Vorpal Weapon. In other news, we are also sponsored with Advanced GG, the industry's leading energy, hydration, and vitamin supplements that is keto-friendly and all-natural caffeine. Check out the link in the description below and use code MUNCHER for 10% off all supplements. Alright, we got... Pizza Circle... Two lines. Pizza Circle, two lines. Yo, Hollow Blue kind of smacks. Oh my god, Wizards. Oh my god, I need one more fucking throw. Can I get one of these knights to spawn, please? Pretty please? There he is. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta say pretty please. Literally once. Alright, we gotta go to pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh, which one's this? This one's gonna be the night. Why is this one gonna be so far away, man? Alaku, the Dark Blade. Alright, let's get this motherfucker. Boom, baby! Not gonna lie, not having an eager edge for these ogres is kinda kinda blow. Alright, you wanna go in the middle here. You want to work your way from left to right. As long as you don't get bodied by this dude, you should be fine. And then what you want to do is go right back and you want to go into the first one. There's the next one. Pick it up, and then you want to go to middle. And then you want to go left. You know what's really going to blow is the, uh, the hive boomers on this next part. There's really no way for me to hit them. This is probably the hardest part about this whole thing. Because I can't really get off this plate. Yeah, dude, this is going to be hard. Because I have, like, no ammo right now. All 
I have no way to heal. Fuck! Alright, let's see if I can't, uh... Try and go really quick and leave those the guys there. All right, we got three. I got there's so many up there now. I didn't know they fucking stacked. Definitely didn't know they stacked. Uh, I can't hit the boomers, man. Holy jeez. Suffering is ended, thank God. That was kind of rough, dude. I couldn't hit the fucking boomers. No way I die right there. Uh, so we got pizza A and Y. Shit, that's a fucking shrieker. Let's go left. I think I gotta go inside here. Yeah, I do. The runes have shattered. Alright, final boss time! Alright, let's get it. Let's get it, boys! Yeah, that's actually really good damage for a fucking wave frame, dude. So many swords. God, I almost died right there.
Definitely almost died right there, chap. What am I dying to? Let's finish this motherfucker. Sayonara, motherfucker! 